Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome to Everyday Faith Day 24. Hope you guys are doing amazing today. Uh, man, that was fun having my mom on here. Love the reaction, but I'm alone today. She's back in Tennessee, so you're stuck with me. We have another special guest tomorrow, so definitely um, jump in and see who joins us tomorrow for day 25. So let's jump into day 24, which I'm, I'm excited about because it's an action. I hope y'all take this seriously. It says this, write down two goals for your journey, one to strive for in the next six months, and the second to reach for in a year. Use these two goals as mile markers for your journey to help you move forward and anchor you in seasons of difficulty. And some of you will do this and some of you won't. And, and, and about three years ago, I probably wouldn't have done this because I didn't think writing things down really helped. I didn't think writing goals down helped until I started doing it. And then I realized how important it was. And now I have a goal card and I reset my goals every year. And I have all my goals and I have my, my, some 30 day goals and I have some, some six month goal, goals and I have my year long goals. But my year long go goals go everywhere with me. I have a goal card, it's laminated, it's in my car. I have a couple at my house. I have them in my, in my notebook. I have these things everywhere with me. And, and, and my top two goals just year, this year, just to be uh, upfront with you guys, number one was to keep God number one. I know that sounds silly, but it is nice to be reminded of that every day when I look at my goal card. Did I have my God time today? And the number two one was to make this Rachel's best year of marriage. Now we've had seven of those, and, uh, and I hope it continues to get better, but sometimes we get lackadaisical. Sometimes we start, stop dating our spouse. Sometimes we ignore the important things, and so I hope we're doing that, uh, but you'd have to ask her. So we'll bring her on and we can ask her that. But um, the reason I share that with you guys is because I focus on my goals every day. Why? Because they're written down. And they're a reminder. Maybe I'm, I'm not being a great spouse. And I look at it and said, get back on track. Get back on track. Or whatever it may be, right? So what are those things for you? What are those goals that you're going to write down? Write down two goals for your journey. One to strive for in the next six months. And the second to reach for in a year. Will you do it? Will you take action, guys? I hope you do. I promise you it'll pay off. Have an incredible day. Be blessed. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.